Teachers and researchers in mathematics and computer science have developed a new kind of teaching material. Instead of using an ordinary paper-based textbook, students can now learn mathematics the interactive way. My name is Kalle Åström. I work at the Center for Mathematical Sciences at Lund University. Together with the two colleagues, I've written a new linear algebra book. Uh, and one of the new aspects of this book, it's online, and all of the figures are interactive, so you can try out what happens with the figures if you change some of the aspects like vectors or you can rotate the figures to look at them from different viewpoints. So this is an example of what the book looks like. It looks like a traditional mathematics book in linear algebra. So you'd have the explanations, you'd have definitions, you would have figures. But one of the interesting things that we want to experiment with is to use the interactive figures. So every figure is interactive. You can try out what happens if I change. What would happen in this case if I change one of these, these arrows here, these vectors? And for instance, in this example, we're illustrating the fact that the length of the vectors u plus v is always shorter than the sum of the length of u and the length of v. So we know that it's shorter if you go directly or if you go via a detour. But you can see here that, that it's actually true that this sum is larger than this uh, length here. And you can try out what these will be if you change the figures. Uh, and we just released the book this Monday, uh, released the first four chapters, and we're now working to polish the rest of the chapters and publish them as well. For instance, here's a figure illustrating orthogonal projection of a point on a plane, and you can step forward and see different aspects of how you do when you project a point to a plane, but you can also see what will happen if I change, change the point, and you can also rotate the image to see what will it look like from another viewpoint. Why did you publish this book? Well, we were interested in seeing how can you make a book really interactive, and how can you use that interactivity to enhance the aspects of learning and, and also make it more fun. And the two co-authors, Jakob Sturm and Thomas Akenine Müller, they are really, really good computer graphics researchers. So they are really into making this uh, interactive features of the book. How did you come up with this idea to, to make this book? Oh, it's something that uh, Thomas and Jakob have been thinking about for a long time. And I have also thought about it, but I never really knew how to uh, make the computer graphics uh, well. But they have been doing this in different presentations and in different aspects. But uh, we thought, how would you do it to make a really good math book and exploit these kind of interactive capabilities? And where can the book be found? The book can be found at immersivemath.com. And it's, you can just use it for free uh, as much as you'd like.